I started dancing and I felt that I needed to become a dancer when I was um, about 12 years of age uh, and by about 14 or 15 I knew that I wanted to come to Melbourne and pursue a career in, in classical ballet, which I did. And I worked in Melbourne for, you know, the Australian Ballet School for a few years before going overseas. The most fun thing about being a ballet dancer, I would have to say, is performing. Uh, you know, there's a lot of reward in finding success on stage and um, feeling the audience getting behind a program and enjoying the art that you give on stage. I would have to say to aspiring dancers to really be honest with where you are in your training. It's very, you know, difficult to know the line between being positive and proactive to being slightly <laughs> delusional. I mean, it sounds, it sounds a bit um, funny, but it's true, you know, you need to really have clear and attainable um, aspirations and expectations with the career because it's incredibly competitive. You're going to have to do a huge amount of traveling and, you know, financially it's not significantly rewarding. So it is something that you need to be, I guess, you know, clear about and good advice from a good teacher will, I guess, um, keep that clarity, um, you know, where it needs to be.